Good morning, and we'd like to welcome to our space here at TV24 Breakfast, the one, the only, Kelly Rowan. Oh, thank you. Nice the hockey you. player shook, shook my hand yesterday. Yeah. Before we say anything else, I, I didn't realize that, um, that, well, that you're Canadian, but you grew up in, in Ottawa. You're I like did. a Canadian born and bred, and, and we make too much of a fuss about it, I think, but we're so proud that there's so many Canadians that do so well on the other side of the border. Maybe we'll make too much of a fuss about it, but you're doing like wonderful Amazing. things. Well, even when I'm in the States, I still say, well, I'm Canadian. I still say. This you're is what I find the Canadian <laughs> celebrities. Now, well, it's true. Uh, now, a lot of the audience knows you best uh, as Kirsten Cohen, of course, from the OC. And we say that because, this, you know, uh, we know how talented you are, but you continue to do work right here, which is, of course, why you're here today. Mm -hmm. No, I love coming back and working here. And it's, the crews are great, and the actors are great, and it's just nice to come home and, you know, get to be in Toronto. And, Oh, people are nice. It's great. Shaftesbury Films did this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm big fans of them because I was, like Regenesis is one of my favorite shows. Yeah. And so when you have them behind you, you know you got a good product that's going to come out of it, and you're executive producing the, the, the entire thing. Yeah. Project, right? No, it's been they've been terrific, and this is actually the fourth project that I've done with them yep. in this capacity. So we've been we've been working well together, and uh, so hopefully people will watch this show because we've. Uh, Put a, lot of, put a lot of work into it. And let's talk about that show. It is going to be airing this Sunday on CTV. It is called The Good Times Are Killing Me. It's a made-for-TV movie. Let's talk about the premise of it. It's very interesting. Well, she's, you know, I'm, I say I'm a naughty lawyer, but I get myself, <laughs> <laughs> I get myself, um, I start to investigate a case and uh, things kind of go, it, it seems like it, there could be a conspiracy going on and then I end up in a rehab clinic and I'm not sure why I'm there. I think that I've been put there and then all kinds of things ensue and it's, it's, it's very interesting because things unfold and you're not quite sure where it's going. Right. Now, we do actually have a clip of this right now. Uh, this I, is I love, the good I love, are killing me. I love this. Do we have a clip? We do. <laughs> Can we see that clip? Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's take a look at this. A good time for killing me. Hi, Norton. It's me. I'm on a plane. And I think someone's telling me. Did I know what's happened to me? Not that anything is going to happen to me, but it's... Um... Never mind. I'm, I'm just a, a bad player. Obviously, you're not only an actor in this, you executive produce. So how was that wearing two hats for this? Well, actually, I think it was at that. I mean, we have we have meetings at lunch, and you know, I was actually in every scene of this film, which is really unheard of because most of the time you'll have a day off or you'll have some scenes off. But what was interesting was executive producing, breastfeeding, and acting. You have a newborn, right? I was okay. months old, but you never tell. But um, but that was, and that's why I have very large breasts in the film. So I didn't have that, that's why. I, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I did, nothing happened. That's, that's the reason. <laughs> You're in every scene? Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. That's great. Lots of hats oh, in that movie. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it is a must watch, and after you watch it, you'll realize that we were smart by telling you it's a must yeah. watch. It's on CTV at 8 o'clock on, on Sunday, and we appreciate so much yeah. that you were here with us. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you for having me. Best yeah. of luck. Okay. Oh, and before we let you go, Kelly, um, we were talking about tips, tons of celebrities like yourself and Jeff. What do people like ourselves, regular people, what's the tip to try to approach a celebrity? Do you run them to them? No, I think, okay. you're, I think the best way is probably to be polite. You know, and Canadians are polite, so I don't think that's going to be an issue here, you know? Sure. I think running up and screaming at them is probably not a good way to go. <laughs> Here's your box of chocolates. Yeah. No, it doesn't work, right? Well, thank you so much. A pleasure to have you here with us this morning, Kelly. Right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. I'm going to take a little peek behind our camera. I can't see what time it is, but this is the It's 8.16. There you go. Stay with us. We've got headlines after break. What is this place? It's a rehab for drug addicts and alcoholics. Which I'm not. Oh. I, if someone has done this to me, I don't belong here. Do you mind if we talk about this after group? I need to get back to the States. I won't take long.